Hey. Hey YouTube, I'm Ophelia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, I post health, fitness, and lifestyle videos. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below. So if you guys are noticing that I have the same thing on that I had in the last video I posted, it's because I'm recording these videos on the same day. <laughs> I'm trying to get more intentional about my content so I can be more consistent with my posting. Um, I know last week when I posted a video, I said I wanted to post two to three videos that week and it did not happen. I have an excuse though. I actually got sick last week. It was just like a common cold, like those colds that we got before, you know, COVID existed. So I had like a stuffy nose, congested head, and I just didn't feel good. I didn't do too much working out either. So I couldn't post, but I'm trying to come stronger and better, y'all. I apologize. In this video, I'm going to take you guys to the gym with me for leg day. I actually recorded this leg day on Sunday, and it's currently Wednesday. So after I did this leg day, I was sore for Monday, Tuesday, and I was, I'm still sore a little bit today. So this is a very good leg day. But the main reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've had a few women actually tell me that they've been incorporating faster cardio in the morning at least three times a week, 50 minutes on a Stairmaster. And that makes me feel really good. I don't know what to do with my pen. But that makes me feel really good because it's just like I started this YouTube channel to just kind of like document my journey and also just give tips because I have a lot of people ask me for like tips and things like that on Instagram. So I just wanted to share my knowledge. So when females and different women are telling me they're actually incorporating some of the things I say on my YouTube, that makes me feel really good. But I did want to say in this video that cardio is not my main focus. Right now, I have to do so much cardio because I do want to lose weight for summer and make sure my body's together. But because I've been working out for so long, my body has pretty much adapted to a lot of different workouts. So sometimes in order for me to lose weight, I have to go to the extreme when it comes to cardio because 20 to 30 minutes of cardio is not going to work for me. My body going to laugh at that 20 minutes to 30, 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. I mean, it's not bad. It's still a workout and it will still keep my heart healthy. But as far as trying to lose weight, my body's like, that's just not enough cardio because I've adapted to 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. It just no longer works for me. So that's the main reason why I do 50 minutes of cardio. But if it's someone who's a beginner who doesn't do that much cardio already, if they start out with 20 to 30 minutes of cardio, they will probably lose weight. I know when I first started my fitness journey back in 2010 and my brothers will take me to the gym, they pretty much had me do 20 minutes of cardio post weight training. And I lost so much weight from just that 20 minutes of cardio. And that was mainly because my body wasn't used to doing doing any cardio you know so now that I'm so far ahead, advanced or ahead in my journey um, that just doesn't work for me anymore anymore so I have to do more cardio to lose the weight if that makes sense so I don't want to push and push cardio on my channel because I am wholeheartedly a weightlifting girl like if you follow me on Instagram which you should be following me on Instagram don't forget I'm Ophelia on Instagram I'll put the tag so you guys can Go follow me. I'll link it in the description. Just go follow me. But if you follow me on my Instagram, you will see how much I love to lift weights. So I think on my channel, I might be pushing too much cardio. Cardio is definitely necessary because it helps keep a healthy heart. And we all need that to live longer. But I really believe weightlifting is a little bit more important to, than cardio when it comes to certain things. Mainly when it comes to building curves we can build our butts and build hamstrings and quads in the gym and you only get that from lifting weights you don't get that from cardio and even if you are in like a weight loss phase and you're a beginner and you're trying to lose weight weightlifting is going to help you more than cardio does when you're doing cardio you're only burning the calories you're burning while you're doing cardio but while you're weightlifting the more muscle you build the faster your metabolism runs and the more calories you burn so you actually burn more calories just by lifting weights because you're burning calories in the gym and outside of the gym by lifting weights. I'm just going to show you guys or basically take you guys to the gym with me. I had a very good leg day and yeah, just stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel as well. Today is a quad focused leg day. So when I do quad focused leg days, I always like to warm up with either glutes or hamstrings, sometimes both, but today I just warmed up my glutes main reason I do this is because when I get into my compound movement, which nine times out of 10, it's a squat on quad focus leg days. If your glutes and your hamstrings are warmed up once you get into your squat exercise, they'll help assist you in the exercise so that you can get a full range of motion. And a full range of motion is important because it helps give you better leg growth. So if you're doing a squat and you're only quarter squatting, your legs won't grow as much as they would if you were getting to a full squat when you really get ass to grass. So that's important. 
and I superset the glute kickbacks with the hip adductor machine. So the glute kickbacks, I did four sets of 10, but I had a slight pause at the top of each kickback. You'll see once I go back to doing the glute kickbacks. And then for the hip adductor movement, I did four sets of 20. So my next exercise, I did leg extensions. So I did five total sets of these leg extensions. The first set I didn't record, but the first set I did both legs at a time. But you see me here, I'm doing single legs right now. But the first leg, I mean the first set, I actually did both legs at the same time. And I did 25 reps. It was like a very lightweight, I believe like 40 pounds. Then the second set I did single legs. So I did each single leg for 20 reps. Then I did three sets with both legs together. So these sets, I did a slight pause at the top, as you can see, and then I counted to three on the way down. So I did 12 reps. I started off at, I believe, 70, maybe 80 pounds, and I would have went up and weighed each set. So a progressive set for the last three sets. So before I get into my squats, I'm going to do squats next. I have like some slight ankle mobility problems where my ankles really don't allow me to be as flexible as I want in my squats. So here's something that I do before each set of squats that I like to do. So this kind of just warms up my ankles and makes sure that I can get a better flexibility whenever I go down and get my squat. And it keeps my heels from coming off the ground. So this helps a lot if you have any ankle mobility problems. My ankles are always, always stiff. Like I never knew you could have stiff ankles, but your girl got stiff ankles. So next up, I'm doing my squats. Um, this is my third set here. So I actually did four sets total. My first set was at 135 pounds and I did nine reps. Then I went up to 185 pounds and did nine reps. My third set was done at 205 pounds. And this is the third set that you guys see here. And I did nine reps. And then my last set was 135 pounds. I went back down to 135 and I bust out 20 reps, which is brutal but that's what makes this leg day hard and effective. Um, what I will say is just use whatever weight is comfortable for you. Don't try to use a weight that's too heavy where you can't keep proper form. I don't care if you just have the bar on your back, you just always wanna practice form and safety first. But um, here you're gonna, you guys are gonna see that this is what I mean about getting all the way into your squat and not quarter squatting. I just see so many people who don't get deep enough into their squat and that will not help you grow your legs. If you're looking to grow your legs, this is what I'm saying. If you're not looking to grow your legs, that's fine as well. But if you want bigger legs, just make sure you do full squats. Don't cheat yourself. I 
After I finished up my squats, I hopped on the leg press machine. So for this leg press machine, I did one huge gigantic set. Um, this is some bodybuilder stuff right here. A good friend of mine, he's a bodybuilder and he taught me different ways to grow huge legs. So this is one of them. It's a pretty crazy method, but basically what I did was, once I got on the leg press machine, I did 25 reps at, um, I think this was four plates. No, I'm sorry, three plates. Once I did the 25 reps, I took a 10 second break and then I did 12 reps, 10 second break, 10 reps, 10 second break, 10 more reps. So I believe that's a total of like, I don't know, like 60 reps almost. So um, I just did one huge giant set. I did kind of warm up before I hopped on here and just felt the weight out. I did like two plates of like five just to feel the weight out and I just didn't want to hop into the movement right away. And then that's when I did the giant set. But this right here is guaranteed to have your legs burning and growing. Then I just finished up with 40 lunges, body weight lunges on each leg. So this was a brutal leg day, but it was a good one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh.